You know, it's been a peaceful year or so since I've had to look at an Alvin and the Chipmunks movie. I really was entirely content with just never watching another one, but you guys have been constantly asking about it for a year. So just to be upfront, this is going to be one of those videos that I don't really want to make, but I guess if you guys want to see it. Thankfully, I'm not alone as always. I called up Zach again and asked if he wanted to do another one of these, and for some weird reason, he actually said yes. Yay. Look, there's no way I could say no to more Monk Madness, especially when I've only ever seen the first two films in this legendary saga. I'm sure we'll be very confused why this didn't win an Oscar by the end. Alvin and the Chipmunks 3 Chipwrecked <laughs> has a premise not even remotely resembling the other two movies. Whereas its predecessors were about exposing the corruption of up and coming child stars in the music industry, and then that again, but with girl chipmunks. This one sees Dave and the chipmunks being stranded on an island in the middle of nowhere and having to escape before they starve or burn to death. Both of which would be favorable outcomes. This time, Zach came up with the idea of recording our live reactions to watching the movie, so you'll see little bits of that throughout the video. Anyway, this whole thing starts off when Dave and his family go on a cruise ship for a holiday where it only takes several seconds for the chipmunks to begin terrorizing everybody on board. This may have to be the best chipmunks movie though because it is the only one that has party rockers in it. Thanks so much movie for reminding me that I'm old. Also on the cruise ship is this pelican guy who keeps following Dave everywhere. Our pelican makes sure that everybody on the ship has fun. In fact, in port, he circles the ship <laughs> on a thing Boy, that pelican is kind of a dick. <laughs> I sure hope that doesn't become important very shortly. You have a problem with me? Oh, you bet I have a problem with you. <gasps> Back off, man. Back off, man. I'm a pelican. <laughs> this is actually the last Alvin and the Chipmunks movie that has Ian in it. Therefore, it is the last Alvin and the Chipmunks movie that matters. In the meantime, the others have already turned to a life of drugs and gambling within five minutes of not having Dave's supervision. You're winning, sir. Damn! And because his kids are the most fucking annoying creatures on earth, Dave very reasonably confines them all to their room. But of course, he's meant to be the bad guy here, as always. I like my tail shaken, not stirred. Shut up, Alvin. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> so a bit later, when Dave, like any good parent, falls asleep after five seconds of sitting down, the chipmunks immediately attempt to assassinate him as payback. Fortunately for everyone on board, they get a little too carried away trying to kill Dave and end up falling into the ocean and washing up on the shore of some random island. It's too bad they didn't drown. We've got nothing to worry about. Dave knows we're gone by now. He probably has a whole coast guard looking for us. <laughs> So from here, it basically just becomes cast away with the chipmunks, complete with the numerous suicide attempts. Of course, eventually Dave does go in search of his kids, accompanied by Ian, who involuntarily decides to tag along. If we climb to the top of that mountain, we'll be able to get a better view of the island. Oh yeah, let's just climb to the top of a mountain, Dave. You know, one time in the studio, Snoop ran out of matches, got a blaze going with just two carrot sticks. Figure, how hard can it be? <laughs> Is that an actually funny joke in an Alvin and the Chipmunks movie? <laughs> I hope they get eaten. I hope they get struck by lightning all at the same time. Eventually, they run into a pilot who crash landed on the island nearly a decade ago. And as if she hasn't suffered enough, she now also has to run into the Chipmunks. At some point, Simon gets bitten by a poisonous spider, which instead of putting him and us out of our misery, instead turns him into like some sort of super confident Chad monk because the poison was a neurotoxin that affected his personality or something like that. The movie's words, not mine. You care to join me on my adventure? What adventure? The adventure called alive! Okay. Isn't this just the same thing they did with like Buzz in Toy Story 3? I, I was literally just like a year after the fucking last yeah. Toy Story. Bozo, my friend. I don't even know how to react to this. Yeah, I, I don't know how to re I like react. Okay, Theo. It's Love not you. funny. <laughs> he's meant to be French, I think they say. Yeah, he thinks he's some sort of fun-loving French dude. And he calls himself Simone now. That's just Simon with an E on it. Alvin, Simon, chubby one. Girl chubby one. Alvin goes through this whole arc here because he's upset the other chipmunks are stealing his thunder by beginning to develop character traits other than just smart one and fat, and go Alvin tries to help him through it and his newly developed murderous tendencies. I'm sure Dave will come. I mean, he certainly loves Simon and Theodore. What a way to be like, uh, don't worry Alvin, at least he loves your brothers. <laughs> then near the end of the film, they reveal that the girl on the island is 
evil because she's been looking for treasure the entire time. Really, the only twist is that she came to the island on purpose. She still has actually been looking for it there for 10 years, Jesus Christ. The runtime of Chipwrecked is comprised of them cutting from the main Chipmunk storyline and the side story of watching Dave and Ian slowly starve to death. Unfortunately, these are pretty few and far between in the film, but they are for sure the best and really only good parts of this one. I know Jason Lee and David Cross hate these movies or whatever, but I'm very glad they're here to at least make some of it watchable. They're both genuinely great actors, and they do make this movie just a tad more bearable. Okay, my stomach noises are gonna get louder and louder and louder until one day they just stop because I will have eaten you. Ian eventually becomes so hungry that he even begins being understanding of Dave, which would otherwise be very out of character for him if his brain wasn't literally shutting down from a lack of sustenance. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Uh, mm. Ian? Mm. Uh, Ian? They do eventually all reunite just in time for the volcano on the island to begin erupting. A little dramatic, but all right. Maybe the reason Ian isn't in the next one is because he dies in this one. And it takes a severe concussion to turn Simon back to normal. Thank God. If anything, all of the characters do have like sort of an arc in this one, even if they'll probably reset by the next one anyway. Simon learns how to be brave without the brain damage. Dave learns that maybe it's okay for Alvin to not listen to him sometimes, even though every other time in the movie that he doesn't, he nearly dies and or kills someone else. And Theodore, Theodore eats food. Even fucking Ian has character development. It's tempting to blame Dave. I know. I've been there. Please, God, get this man some food. Even the girl comes around by the end and is forgiven for trying to kill most of them several times. I lost it. And I'm... I'm really sorry. <sighs> no! No! Hey, back off, man! Are the chipmunks technically not family with the chipettes? Uh, yeah, I, I know what you mean. Because, like, the chipmunks and chipettes aren't related to each other, but they are in the same family, so it's like... Uh... <laughs> they don't call themselves, like, brother and sister, though. Oh, so it's totally fine, then. What, no love for Uncle Ian? You play us in pages! Seriously, are we still talking about that? Alvin, you still have that pocket knife I gave you? Why was this the idea for the third one? This one is such a far cry from the other two movies. Like, I get wanting to do something different, but why was this the idea? They didn't think to, like, do another music-related they couldn't, like, find a tribe on the island who's, like, must make a epic jam. And, I, I don't know, like, something music-related? They're the chipmunks. I'm genuinely convinced they came out with the pun first and the movie second. According to critics, this is the worst in the series by a mile. And I am now able to say, yeah. It was. <laughs> now that Disney owns Alvin and the Chipmunks, I would be very surprised if we don't end up with a new one within the next couple of years. I just want to see Alvin pop up in the Chip and Dale movie because that'd be awful and the Alvin internet and would the just love it. it. Okay, so there we go. We are now all done with the Alvin and the Chipmunks movies. Except the fourth one. The what? Well, we survived. There's only one more. No, there's not. <laughs> Party Rock! Thank you so much, Bolt, for having me on uh, uh, once again for this amazing film series. And I'm sure that we'll be there for the fourth one. <laughs> no, no, actually, probably not. Uh, unless, unless you guys want it. <laughs> no, 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 don't, don't, please don't want it. Hello, and welcome back to the fan mail unboxing. I am very sorry it's been such a long time. To tell you the truth, I said to myself I wasn't going to film this again until I got a new camera. And as you can see, I still have not done that. But hopefully this will be the last time it looks this shoddy. Ugh, there is literally no way. Oh my fucking god. Someone, who, who sent this to me? Angus. Someone named Angus has just sent me both seasons of Dragon Ball GT. You will not believe. <laughs> god damn it. I just finished watching it on some like shitty site in like 240p. God damn it. <laughs> Now I have to watch it again. <laughs> Thank you, Angus. I appreciate it. Don't don't think I don't appreciate the gift. I'm just an idiot. I want to keep this letter short and sweet, but I want to mention that as of this time, I'm writing to you. You've reached 500k subs, so congratulations. Uh, since you two are friends, have you ever considered doing a collab with Trav Guy? If you'd be up for it, yeah. What do you think of id Software games, Doom, Wolfenstein, and if you like their games, which one is your favorite? I'm actually still playing through Doom Eternal at the moment, so I've got to say that one. Although Doom 1 didn't have the Marauders in them, so... Who wins, Bernice or God? Bernice fears no God. Thank you 
for taking the time to read this. I'm always excited for your next video every week or two. P.S. I drew you fighting out of the chipmunks on the other page with Zach in the background. That is fantastic. Thank you very much. Dear Diamond Bolt, I love your vids. Been a fan ever since I saw the Prank Patrol video, and I love how you talk about stuff like ABC3 shows and Pop Tropica. I have some questions. What do you think of Transformers Devastation? The best Transformers game ever made. Have you played A Hat in Time? Yeah, I beat it a couple months ago. It's fantastic. What are your thoughts on Sonic Riders? Uh, the only time I played it, actually, I, like, borrowed it from Blockbuster once, and that was pretty much the extent of it, so I'd like to play it properly one day. If you could pick one show to bring back, what would it be? Transformers Animated. <laughs> would you be keen to make a video similar to your ranking every movie I saw vid with games you played in 2021? That would be cool, but I legitimately play, like, three games a year, uh, <laughs> if that, so would you like to get your very own YouTube? Uh, maybe, I don't know. Hello, I'm not allowed to use my real name, so hi, I'm Jeff. That's my favorite name. Yeah. Will you ever make a cool maths games video? Actually, that's not a bad idea. What is your favorite school subject? None of them. What is your favorite Plants vs. Zombies plant? I'm a basic bitch. I like the pea shooter. <laughs> Anyways, it is 20th of May 2021 right now. See you 200 years when this finally arrives. Oh my god, this is almost a year old. Jeff, I'm so sorry. If you're somehow still watching this, I really appreciate it. And I'm... I... God damn it. Dear Diamond Bolt, I've been a very big fan of you since the Bionicle Splash Games video and I loved every single video you made after. Here are some questions. What's your go-to movie when you're feeling bored? Probably the Lego movie. It's just like endlessly rewatchable. Do you like horror games or scared of horror games? I've only just gotten into horror movies like a couple years ago, so I think horror games are going to take me a couple more years. Yours truly, Ward Abozar. Date written 24th of May, 2021. Oh my god. Oh, hello there. This was the 14th of May. This, this, is, this is newer than the other one. Fan God, I just finished watching the hilarious online safety videos. Very nice. You seem to have a specific thing going on with your videos that draws me in. I don't know what it is, nor do I think I want to. How is the art on the back? Fantastic. What is it about your videos that draw me in? I imagine my impeccable sense of humor. How do you like a B-rated animation made from your audio? My dumb way of asking for perms. Oh yeah, go for it. You don't have to ask my permission, but thank you. I really enjoy writing this letter, mate. I hope to write another one soon. I uh, like if any of these these people are definitely not still watching my videos. Hello, Adam. This is the first time I've sent a letter to someone. I wanted to send this to you because I love your videos. They always make me laugh. Anyway, here's a few questions. Out of all of the bad movies, which one was your favorite? Obviously, the Super Mario Bros. movie, which I genuinely love and no one else seems to. I love your videos. You make me laugh so fucking much. My name is Joshua and I live in Mississippi. Please get me out of America. I just wanted to send you some mail. I hope this eases the pain from all of the movies. <laughs> Thank you, Joshua. That's very nice of you. Dear my guy, Diamond Bolt, I would like to point out that I was introduced to your channel by one of your ancient videos, Top 10 Sonic Final Bosses. I've watched Button Smash's entire Sonic Adventure 2 series and you would not believe how much you have made me laugh. This isn't really a question, but can you please do a BS series on Cuphead? Uh, I think it's a bit late for Cuphead and I gotta be honest, I don't I think George and I would be able to do it. Like, I know it's hard. It's, we just get frustrated. It wouldn't be a fun time. We wouldn't enjoy it. Have you watched the Transformers War for Cybertron series yet? It's basically a crime if you haven't. I have. It was basically a crime that they released that. <laughs> How do you have so much stuff? Where do you keep it all? On the floor, pretty much. Uh, by the way, I'm in London. Oh, I should have been reading this in the British accent. I like how every single person has specified the date just to make me feel bad. <laughs> and there's some really cool Button Smashers fan art. I'm sorry I have to cut it short here, but I'm just like... I don't want this to be too much of the video, but I also want to get through a lot. So I'm going to do this more often. I'm sorry it's been so long. Hopefully it will look a bit better next time. I'm very sorry for this presentation. But yeah, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.